This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to Thursday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Hi, Ruth. Stella. Hi. Sorry to just turn up unannounced. No, it's fine. It's fine. You okay? I just do not understand David's filing system. And we've been married 33 years this week. (laughs) Congratulations. What can I do for you? Oh, it's silly, really. I just wanted to ask you something. What? Ah! Oh, no, that's not them. Wrong year. What are you actually looking for? Everything. Fuel bills, feed bills, fertiliser bills. And I've got to find them now. What's the rush? This carbon auditor chap is turning up in, oh God, about an hour to try and calculate Brookfield's emissions. And I thought that because David did the books and VAT recently, we were more organised than we are. You can't just ring him and ask him where the bills are. I have, and he's not answering his phone. He's in a meeting with Vince Casey and there could be ages because there's loads of problems at the abattoir. Because of labour shortages. Yeah, exactly. Barrow's processor is rationing the number of pigs they can take right now and the finances of the whole thing are a nightmare. I know. Brian is permanently in a foul mood. Poor you. Well, I was quite happy to get out of the office for a bit. I bet. Oh, where are these bills? Can I help you look? That would be amazing. Oh, and do you want to go for a drink tonight? I could use a drink right now, never mind tonight. <laughs> a bit early. Yeah, I probably wouldn't impress the carbon auditor. No. OK. Where should I start looking? Um, OK. There's two boxes on the floor. I haven't looked in either of them yet. Right. And if you find the bills, then the first drink is on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Kirsty, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, Linda. <clears throat> About last night. Yes. I was wondering if you might reconsider your position. What position? On having a word with the extras. You mean about firing them? I don't think firing is the most helpful term in this context. Bit inflammatory. Yes. I mean, it's not as if anyone is losing their livelihood. So it really oughtn't to be such a big deal. Well, then you tell them. But I don't feel that it's the right role for me as the director. It's more of a producing job. Linda, in the last 24 hours, I'd sorted the scenery in the Grey Gables ballroom, liaised with Jill about rehearsing in the Brookfield kitchen for the Annunciation, blacked a stack of clothes for Clary to turn into costumes, and I'm working here till six. Honestly, I've hit my limits. I am not sucking extras that I was specifically asked to recruit. If you don't want all those people, then you'll have to tell them yourself. But... And you can start with Tracy. Tracy? Yes. Hiya, Kirsty. Um, Linda, I need to speak to you both. Um, is this about the Ambridge Mystery Plays? No, it's about Blake. Oh, is he all right? Has something happened? Yeah, something's happened. Something good. What? He came to see us last Sunday. He just came to see you? Just like that? Yeah. We didn't know he was coming or anything. He just turned up. Why didn't you tell us before? Well, I feel bad saying this to you, but it's because he didn't really want anyone else to know. Till he'd gone. Oh. I think he just wanted to slip away quietly, you know? Mm, With no fuss from the likes of me, probably. No, Linda, I don't think it was that. He's just really shy, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. But it's lovely that he came to say goodbye to you. Well, to be honest, I think he came to say goodbye to Chelsea more than me. (laughs) Right. But did he seem well? Oh, he seemed so well. He's got this whole new life, a new place to live, and he's going to finish his education, then start a training course. Oh, that's amazing. But, Kirsty, I wish you could have seen him, because he was... different. He had this new confidence, but also, like... 
like a lightness to him, like a load was lifted off him. That makes me want to cry. Me too. Well done, Tracy. Oh, I didn't really do anything. I think you did. <laughs> After everything he's been through, he's still got such a kind heart, don't you think? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. I would love to have seen him, but I'm really glad he came to see you. Right, well, i better go and check the rotor for next week because I'm worried I've double-booked myself. Oh, uh, before you do that, Linda's got something she wants to say. Have I? Yes, you have. You've become very assertive recently, Kirsty. Yeah, and it's about time. What was it you wanted to say, Linda? Uh, well, oh, these things are... These things are never easy, are they? You said it wasn't a big deal. Kirsty, you are not helping. <clears throat> Tracy... I have some difficult news for you. Well, spit it out then, Linda. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can take it. Do you think I should just cancel the auditor? No, I don't. We're going to find them. He'll be here really soon. Just keep the faith. I haven't got any faith to keep. Ha. <laughs> oh, what was it you wanted to ask me? When? When you arrived, you said there was something you wanted to ask me. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, it was silly, really. Go on. About a week ago, Kirsty Miller asked me if I'd be an extra in the mysteries, and I said I'd get back to her. But I'm not that keen, and, and now I'm feeling bad that I still haven't messaged her. And I just wondered if you were involved in it. I am, yeah. Are you? I'm an angel. Oh, a starring role, then. <laughs> no, I'm just a spare angel. <laughs> Well, maybe I should do it then. You definitely should. <laughs> Aha! Bills from 2021. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Stella, you're a genius. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's a disgrace. Now, Tracy, really. I can't believe they just gave you a community award and then you go and treat that same community in this really shoddy, rubbish way. <sighs> Asking them to drop everything on Boxing Day and then dropping them instead. She's got a point, Linda. Kirsty, you're not helping. That's because she's on my side. Perhaps we could go and talk about this away from Grey Gables' reception. What do you think the Queen would say? The Queen? It's a good question. Kirsty, honestly. I've got a good mind to write to her. To write to the Queen? About me? Yeah. Why not? Take it to the top, I say. <sighs> do you know I... I may have been a little hasty. I, I may have to rethink this one. Ha! Huh? Now she's going to have a rethink. Mention the Queen and she panics. I am not panicking, Tracy. I am simply impressed by your commitment to the show. And I think if you feel this strongly about it, then I should honour that commitment. Well, OK. Good. I do feel strongly. I really think you've made the right decision, Linda. Yes, thank you, Kirsty. Hi. Hi. Pint of Guinness, as promised. Oh, thank you. Oh, don't thank me. You earned it. So, what happened? What did the order say? He said we were doing really well. Mm. That's brilliant. But now I've got a new problem. Which is what? Someone has gone and written to this animal welfare charity about our cows. And now they want to come and look round the farm. Why is anyone worried about the Brookfield cows? Well, I'm assuming it's because we were using that field for outwintering. And some clueless member of the public thought they looked badly cared for. But, Ruth, anyone who knows their stuff will see that those cows are beautifully looked after. Thanks. We just had this whole thing last year where someone posted something online about the barn and the renovation and how we'd used slave labour. Really? Yeah, because we used a company that Philip Moss owned. Oh. Uh, You've heard about all that, haven't you? Yes. So that was just awful. Because, of course, we didn't know that Philip was using slave labour, but it was just... Everybody felt horrendous. It was... A nightmare. Yeah. And now we're getting accused of animal cruelty. I'm sure it'll be OK, Ruth. Sorry, I know I've been a bit of a pain today. You haven't. You might have been better off getting a drink with Brian. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, I get on fine with Brian, but I don't want to go for a drink with him. Ladies, how 
unfortunate that I should catch you both together. Hi, Linda. Do you know Stella? Oh, yes, we've met. Oh, yes, sorry, I remember now. Well, I want you to know, drumroll please, that you can both be extras in the Ambridge Mystery Plays after all. I've decided that it's a case of the more the merrier. I didn't know that we weren't going to be extras. Oh, didn't you? No, and Stella hasn't even signed up yet. Oh, I have. I left a message with Kirsty this afternoon. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm behind the curve. Anyway, there's been a lot of toing and froing and a certain amount of miscommunication about this business of so many extras, largely due to my absence from rehearsals when I was being awarded my MBE. <laughs> but it's all forgotten now, and everyone is welcome. Okay. Well, thanks, Linda. Yes, thanks, Linda. Kirsty will let you know when you're expected to attend rehearsals, and you can liaise with her over costumes. Although, naturally, as the director, I have the final say. Okie dokie. Well, I should leave you to enjoy your evening. Okay, thanks, Linda. Oh, Ruth, one other thing. Yeah? I'm so delighted to see your cows at Brookfield are now out of the quagmire. Sorry? Uh, the cows were fine, Linda. Well, they didn't look it. Was it you? Was what me? It was, wasn't it? <laughs> Ruth, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> They're out of that field now because they'd finished grazing the bills and foraged brassicas. Not because of your little tip-off to the animal welfare charity. My little tip-off? Yes. Ruth... I promise you that I haven't tipped anyone off about anything. I wouldn't do that behind your back. It's, it's not my style at all. And I'm very hurt by your accusation. Oh, just forget it, Linda. But to be honest, I don't blame whoever it was for feeling concerned. Are you sure it isn't rather a cruel way of treating your animals? Yes, I'm sure. It is actually a perfectly humane approach, Linda. But the poor creatures look like something... Something out of Thomas Hardy. Right, well, that's it. I think I might have just changed my mind. About what? I don't want to be an extra. Because of this silly misunderstanding? I've gone off the whole idea of it. And you know what else? I've got a good mind not to let you use Brookfield for the mysteries either. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Ruth, for goodness sake, how much have you had to drink? This is a shandy because I'm driving and I'm a responsible human being and a damn good farmer who knows how to look after her cows. All right, all right. I apologise if I've spoken out of turn about the... What did you call it? Out wintering. Speaks for itself. You were going on the other week about Brookfield Barn not being palatial enough for Herod. So why don't you go and find somewhere else for his palace? <laughs> <laughs>